We set out to solve one of the biggest challenges in consolidating your commercial farm sensor data. We just released a tool called Sparky that will relay data from your local machine into the cloud. And this is huge because it allows you to connect the data that has been dormant on your computer with a cloud infrastructure that will allow you to uh, analyze and observe that data and kind of extract that business intelligence from it. And so all of your data that is sitting on your computers right now will become much more valuable to you once it's just sitting in your aquaponics dashboard. And so I'd like to run a quick demo and show you exactly how it works. And you could basically get it up and running in a few minutes. And the best part is once you're set up, you don't actually need to run the configuration again. It'll just run in the background and all of your data will be consolidated in one place. And so your teammates will thank you because they'll have access to live data directly on their phones or their, their dashboards at, at home on their uh, desktops or whatever it is. Your alerts will function properly and even your fish will thank you because they'll be able to know and have that peace of mind that you'll, you'll come running when something goes wrong. So please check out this demo and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so let's get your project up and running with a sensor and we're gonna actually do a demo with the grow line monitor from Hanna Instruments. So if you have that, this works out for you. If you don't have that particular sensor, it can work for any sensor that writes logs to your computer in the same way. So um, just go ahead and, and enjoy the video. Basically what we're gonna do from zero is we're gonna create the project and we're gonna say, I'm in a mon right now. Um, so I'm gonna call this the Amon Sparky demo in Amon Jordan. It's gonna locate me so I could do all the different weather analysis and stuff. We're gonna do a basic install. There are other options if you wanna create you know, a project with a different set of uh, SOPs. So this created your entire project, your notebooks, your SOP. Uh, it's ready for you to enter data. You can start doing that by hitting record. But what we're doing is a demo of these sensors. So now we're going to create a sensor to actually log that data from our computer into the cloud. So let's create a sensor and let's call this just a, a Raspberry Pi. You'll probably use a Raspberry Pi. You could use your Windows computer. You could use whatever it is that is relaying that data. <clears throat> so let's create that. This went ahead and created everything that you need to connect to the actual uh, cloud. The SSL certificates will be on their way to your email about now. Uh, you may have received it already, but basically you could ignore those because we're going to be using Sparky and Sparky handles all of that stuff for you. Um, Sparky is the command line tool that we'll get to in a little bit once we do a little bit more setup on our cloud dashboard. So right now we're going to add a notebook to this actual sensor. When we add a notebook to the sensor, we're, we're basically saying that this notebook should only be managed by this sensor. And this sensor has permissions to write data to this notebook. So you don't have someone writing random data on their phone to this notebook. They know that it's managed by the sensor. So what we're going to do is we're going to add pH. You could add more if you want. You could add, you know, the water temperature, for example and you're, you're ready to go. So that's all you needed to do for your cloud setup. And now for the big reveal of Sparky, you could go to docs.aquaponics.ai, that's the developer documentation, and you'll see the Sparky CLI. Um, that's the command line interface for relaying data from your computer or your machine, whatever machine you're using, Linux, Windows, Mac, doesn't matter, to the, to the cloud. What we're going to do is we're going to install this and we're going to use it to send the data. It has a few key terms that you need to know. Sources, that could be any number of things ranging from your HANA instrument to Atlas Scientific to MQTT uh, brokers to CSV files, Google Sheets, whatever it is that you're using, you can relay that data to the cloud. Um, so that would be considered a source. And right now, the source is a CSV file. It's a comma separated value file sitting on my desktop. And um, I'm going to relay that to the cloud. The target is a notebook on your Aquaponics AI dashboard. So you're going to relay a source, which is data, to a cloud notebook on your Aquaponics AI account. <clears throat> 
When you create these two, the next step is to create a link between the two. So you're going to say this source belongs to this target. And you just basically draw a line and that's what creating a link does. And so when you've configured that, and it's just one time, when you've configured it, uh, Sparky will just know exactly which data goes where and you, you don't have to think about it anymore. So we're going to do these three things shortly with the command line interface. And again, you could use whatever platform you want. Here's instructions on how to install it. If you're on Windows, you'll probably use Scoop or a manual install, but I'm on a Mac today. So I have Homebrew installed, but you can do a manual one. And you just do Brew Tap, Aquaponics AI, Homebrew Tap, and then you do Brew Install Sparky. And then instantly it's on your, on your computer. So right now, I have, I'll zoom in a little bit. So I have different um, Sparky, for example. This, when you just run that command, you'll see Sparky. And you'll see all the, the information regarding how to run it and a brief introduction of, for it. And there's the link to the developer docs if you uh, forget it or just don't want to type it. These are all the lists of the commands that are available to the Sparky. And so you just run Sparky and then one of these and it'll help you out with that as well. So let's just get started with creating a source. So right now, I'm on my desktop and on my desktop I have a folder called sensor data and this would be the folder that all my logs get written to so if in the grow line instance you kind of have to go around with your USB and collect those files and put it into the folder but in another instance you might have like a blue lab guardian that's continually writing to that folder as well so you have different ways the the sensor companies have different ways of doing this so uh, but right now, I'm just just for simplicity, I'm gonna show you um, what's in this folder. Just a single file. It's actually it's an actual demo file from the, the grow line monitor, and so we've placed it here just for the sake of this demo. So we're gonna import this into the cloud. This is the source. This is the CSV file that we want to relay and any other data that gets written here. So Sparky. And then we're going to, this actually is a supported uh, hardware supplier. So we're going to go down here and we're going to say Sparky source create CSV with the grow line configuration. And then we're going to do dash dash directory and we're going to say sensor data and then dash dash value index if we're looking here. There's a number here. So this number is actually the value within that file. So um, if I just show you this file real quick, let me just copy this. I don't have to type it again. Um, if I just cat the sensor data, you'll see that it has some header information, um, some front matter, or, and then it has the comma separated values. And so um, this particular sensor writes three or uh, this one writes nine different values to a single CSV file. It writes the, the high lows and the average for that particular time range. And so what we want to do is we want to import just that one number because we're taking a source and putting it in a notebook. So it's one to one. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that command that I copied, create CSV and with a grow line configuration to this directory on my desktop with value index of six because I want to move the, the pH. I don't want the higher or the low, I just want the, the pH value that for that time period. So it goes and looks in that directory, finds all the files and takes a sample of it and, and shows you just to make sure that this is the, actually the directory that you want to use. And so in this case, yes, it is. What should we call this source? This, so this is the grow line. Hannah pH uh, from tank one, for example. So you can name it whatever you want. Uh, make sure that it's clear enough and specific to the actual metric because that's going to make a lot and make your life a lot easier when you're actually linking the two pieces of uh, sources and targets. <clears throat> so this has been created. If I run Sparky um, source list, you could see all the things that I've configured in the past. And so you have grow line Hannah uh, with the sensor data 
folder on my desktop. And so when you um, run Sparky, so now we're actually going to do a target. <clears throat> the target is very, very simple to set up. And there's actually a lot going on in the background. Um, you'll see that I have no results. And that's because I forgot to log in. So let's do Sparky login. OK, so I've been logged in. And this is your actual login for your Aquaponics AI cloud account. And then we're going to run this target import. And it's going to list all the projects that I have on my account. I'm going to select the one that we set up earlier. I'm on Sparky demo. And then I'm going to select the sensor that we set up. And I want to actually generate a new SSL certificate. You can import the one that you have, but it's, if you're not using it elsewhere, this actually makes it a lot easier. So Sparky can go ahead and um, set up everything for you in terms of how to connect. So we'll say, yes, let's generate it. And there you go. Your target has been imported. It downloaded all the configuration it needs for connecting to the cloud and to import your data into the, your cloud dashboard. So now all we have to do is do link create. You could do the documentation here, but it's actually very simple. So Sparky link create. And what we're going to do is we're going to select the grow line pH and we're going to select the sensor. And then we're going to say of these two logs that the sensor monitors, we're going to actually send it to the pH and we're going to call it the grow line to pH with the Raspberry Pi. And so that was it. Now your entire uh, data pipeline is set up for ingestion. So you can run server or import. You can see the documentation for server and documentation for import. If you're doing the weekly run buys with the dongle and then putting it on your computer, you're going to want to run import start date. And again, there's information on how to specify the start date here. But I'm just going to say 2020, let's say 2019, just so it makes sure it grabs all the data. And then we're going to process this link. So this is the link that we set up. Um, you could do multiple links at once, <clears throat> but you could select the link that you want to import. You don't need to import everything all the time. And then all that data was imported. So it went and found all the data on the actual files there and then it imported it into the cloud. <clears throat> if you're running a background service or running, t not wanting to deal with this and you have something like Blue Lab who's writing to the file uh, continually, you could actually run server and it will load that information and send that information to the cloud. So your, it, it, it's watching that folder for any new changes and any new changes that happen, it will relay that to the, your dashboard. So you don't ever have to worry about it. The only thing you'd have to worry about is if your power goes out or if um, say your, your Wi-Fi goes down or something like that. But basically data will be relayed continually. If you need to, if you need to actually run this as a service so that if you restart your computer, um, it actually boots up again. You can actually install it using this keyword here, um, and it will actually install a service in your uh, on your machine. And anytime you you know restart or whatever, it will just start back up and start relaying that data again. So it's a very useful tool to get started. Um, and basically, what happens is that Sparky relays all that data to your dashboard. So I kind of hope this helps kind of break down the, the technological aspects of delivering your data from your computer to your cloud aquaponics AI account. And let us know if you have any questions, features, whatever it is that you're looking for. We're interested in hearing about it. And uh, we hope that you have fun putting your data on the cloud.